Too often, we exclude ourselves. Throughout our passage today, Jesus includes Judas, knowing that Judas will betray him. Jesus washes all the disciples' feet, including Judas's. He teaches all of the disciples what it means to serve and to be served. He explains that one of them will betray him. He instructs them in what it means to accept him as a messenger of God and to become his messengers. He does all of this with Judas sitting at the table. Judas has every opportunity that all the other disciples have. Judas experiences the cleansing that all the others experience. But Judas chooses to exclude himself from all of that that Jesus offers through his betrayal. Too often we exclude ourselves from fellowship in the church, from the teaching Jesus gives us, and even from knowing the redemption and transformation Jesus offers us in grace by our own actions and inaction. We make decisions that separate us from God and one another. Confession and repentance are always available to us, but too often we are unwilling to admit of our wrongdoing and accept the consequences of our actions. But much like Peter accepting the foot washing Jesus offers, we must confess and repent in order to change and to once again know the saving grace that Jesus offers.